In this example, I'm going to show how the null paperclip table is constructed and how it functions when you load it into a project as an example of how family settings can be created. So this has defined geometry of the table and then it also has massing type shapes created for a generic um, mass representation of the model. So these are set for f specific views. So if I click on the triangular pyramid kind of shape and hit visibility graphic overrides to view what it is going to view like when it's loaded into the project. So here you'll see that it will show in a front back and a left right view but not in a plan or reflected ceiling plan. So that triangulate triangular shape will not show. It also will not show when the view is set to fine, only when the view is set to coarse and medium. The same thing with the top. This is a extrusion and its visibility graphics are set for front, back, left, right, coarse and medium also. If I then click on one of the legs you'll see that it has different settings under its visibility graphics. So it's only set to show in a fine view versus medium and coarse. That's where the discrepancy is coming from when you load it into your model and view it in a 3D view. It depends on what the view detail level is set to. The other layer to this is in the floor plan view, the detail item that I have selected here is nothing more than a masking region and that is the only thing you'll see in the floor plan because this tabletop is not set for the geometry to show nor are the legs to show in plan or reflected ceiling plan view. So they've drawn a masking region which represents the size of the table and it is set to show in coarse, medium, and fine view and it's set to visible. So it's also set to show in the foreground when loaded into a project so it shows up above other objects. So when I hit load into project, this table, I'm now looking at a plan view in my Revit model. What I'm seeing is the masking region. I'm not seeing the table top or the legs. It's purely the masking region. If I go to a 3D view, I'm seeing the legs and the tabletop. If I change the detail level to medium, you'll see it changes to the generic masses that you saw in that family. So that's how you're controlling the level of detail you see. That allows you to do a low resolution, low detail rendering in 3D versus showing a highly detailed rendering which would take more time to generate the rendering. In all, that's the basic construction of how this table is put together and how you control it between the family and between the model. Second thing that is in this is the tag that's associated with the table. That's considered a generic annotation. So right now you do not see the tag for the table. If I go to my visibility graphics, that annotation category for generic annotations is turned off. If I turn it on, you see the words type catalog. If I then hit control tab to flip back to my family file of the table and you zoom in, that is the tag, the catalog. That is a generic annotation and you're able to turn that off in the project by turning off the generic annotation category.